just joking. Hey guys, today we're gonna be doing a very fun tutorial. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to animate, you know, cool effects such as smoke and an explosion. Actually just two, because um, I want to make this really short and I want you guys to learn this pretty fast. Alright, so let's do this. I'm doing this actually because um, a lot of you have requested it, so let's do it. I'm gonna teach you a simple effective way of making realistic smoke and realistic explosions and it's very simple I mean this takes no skill no s hear my words no skills so let's just get this done first of all you want to use a brush tool and you want to create the shape of the smoke so let's say something like this bam the next step is to fill it in with scribbles. Scribble, scribble, scribble everywhere. The second step is to give it depth. And, you know, smoke has many different colors. So let's use dark smoke, a little dark gray, and put it under, under it. Now, you want to define your light source. Your light source can come from the side, from the top, from the bottom, whatever. In this case, I'm choosing to have the top. Doesn't matter, just for an example. The top and the side. Right here, the side. Perfect. Now, after you have your smoke done, what you want to do is select the whole thing and hit F8, convert it to a symbol, and let's call it Smoke 1. Smoke 1. Now, next step is you hit here. I mean, you click it, Properties. Um, you go to the effects, you know, the filters, I mean, and hit blur. The blur varies in image. Sometimes an image is small, so you need little amounts of blur. Sometimes it's huge, you need more. So in this one, I think we're going to use something around 48. 48. All right, that looks pretty good. Now you see that? That looks pretty decent, you know. You have um, the shades under, meaning that it's darker on the bottom. And then you have lighter, uh, lighter smoke patterns on the top. The whole point of this is to make it look pixelated, you know, because it gives it, you know, the image or the illusion of smoke. Now, what you want to do is that you want you want to export your image. You want to export it as a PNG file, and let's call it Smoke One. The reason for this is because if you're gonna be using the the vcam you know sometimes you want to zoom in to an image and zoom out when you zoom in this is what happens make believe we're using the vcam right now you zoom into this bam it breaks up and what happens when it breaks up is that it slows down your entire flash now we don't want that to happen so what we're gonna do is we are going to delete this and we're gonna import the new PNG file import the stage smoke one import the PNG file and bam you have it now now what happens is that it this won't slow down your your computer well depending on your machine hopefully and when you zoom in see I'm zooming to the max right now all you get is different pixels see you won't lose the the sense or the essence of the image itself well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is Oscar Feliz and I just taught you how to make smoke